Hello everybody, I'm Brian Esser from How To Automotive and today's video is about electric water pumps on vehicles. So the question came up in one of my videos, you know, why would anybody want to use electric water pump? That's the dumbest idea ever. Well, I thought I would just kind of explain to you why manufacturers want to use uh, water, electric water pumps versus the, these manual style water pump. So on a manual style water pump, it take the when you start the car the pump is running all the time so your engine's ice cold and the pump is running so it takes for the car longer to get up to operating temperatures which uh, affects the emissions uh, output so and also also when you get in the car and you want you want that heat to come out you know you got that pump pumping the coolant which is cooling it down or keeping it from heating up as fast as it possibly could so that's one reason uh, why you would want an electric water pump so this will stay off while the engine's warming up. Once it gets to operating temperatures, then, the, then they'll circulate the uh, water pump to uh, flow the uh, coolant through the system and keep that, that optimal uh, combustion temperature and that running temperature. Now, all the sensors and stuff, they, they like to work best when they're at operating temperatures. Uh, the fuel atomizes better when it's at operating temperatures. So that's why it's key to have it at a certain temperature. So another benefit, that I like to, to point out is say now with the electric uh, water pumps and also they have on some vehicles they have electric thermostats also this is a manual thermostat but they have electric thermostats and the car is in complete control of the uh, the cooling system which will um, allow it to be proactive in its uh, programming and uh, ability to maintain a certain temperature that the engine is uh, the most optimal uh, economy wise power wise everything so what happens is, is if you're going up a hill with a traditional water pump, you're going up a, a long grade hill, you're heavily into the throttle. So what happens is the, um, the, the engine starts heating up, heating up, heating up, and then the thermostat uh, gets to a point where, it's, uh, where it opens up and then it allows it to uh, circulate. But by then what happened is it had, it's reacting to something that's already happened in the past. And what these can do in the future uh, is allow you to uh, say if it senses you going up that big old hill and knows that you're in that throttle, it can turn this pump on uh, faster. It can open up the thermostat a little sooner and allow it to keep that temperature at that perfect, uh, perfect range without going up too high and uh, causing what they call NOx or, or pre-ignition. And when you get pre-ignition, what that happens is uh, the NOx sensor will pick that up retard the timing, reduce the power. So on a traditional water pump system, uh, uh, water pump and thermostat uh, system, as you're going up a hill or a long grade or you're heavily into the throttle, the engine will ping because the temperatures rise up really quick before the pump and thermostat can catch up to it. So it backs off the timing a little bit, reduces the power to try to, to, try to lower that, uh, that combustion chamber. It also may kick in the EGR valve it, or if it has a, uh, variable valve timing it, it would it can uh, adjust the variable valve timing and compensate for that combustion t temperatures that are happening or that uh, pre-ignition that's happening so with electric water pumps they're allowed to stay atop of the curb so they know that you're heavily into it they'll pump a bunch of water and coolant or into that and into the uh, system and get it flowing keep it from spiking that temperature which will reduce the knocks prevent it from uh, from even knocking at all and um, that way it doesn't back off the timing. You're, you can still have that, that power you need. The, uh, the variable valve timing will be in that position where it's at the peak, time, uh, peak position where you have the most power. So this is actually now considered an emissions device. It also helps you uh, maintain peak power under heavy loads. So that's why you would want electric water pump in your vehicle. And that's why it's not a dumb idea. It's actually a really good idea. And so I hope you found this video informative. I'm Brian Esser from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I encourage you to subscribe. I invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. Thank you again for watching.